What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm of course CM Puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. Now check it out. We are playing some TNA Impact on the PlayStation 3. We're going to be doing story mode where we can unlock uh, quite a bit of stuff actually because we can't unlock or we don't have that many people on the roster. AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle, Sting, Christian, Booker T, look at that, Hernandez, Homicide, Rhino, Sharkboy, old Robert Roode, Scott Steiner, Alex Shelley, Chris Daniels, James Storm, Chris Saban, brother, Devon, and then the rest are locked. So we're going to play this game, start unlocking some folks. Before we get started, I if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up button. That really does help me out. And I also want to mention um, I've created a Patreon for those who would um, wouldn't mind supporting me uh, other ways besides YouTube. As you know, if you're part of the YouTube community, um, you know YouTube's not YouTube anymore. And uh, things like Adpocalypse, and it's kind of cutting into uh, kind of cutting into the funds. So um, I created the Patreon. There's some things over there: one, five, ten, and a twenty-dollar tier, I think. Um, and you get all kinds of stuff for those tiers. The link's down in the description. Go check it out. So, with all that said, I created a player. I started to create a player. I created CM Puma, but you can't use him in story mode. But we are going to get into story mode right now and see what holds what it holds for us in this first episode. Look into the eyes of Samoa Joe as we start story mode. Suicide. That's who I was. I was an unstoppable force in professional wrestling. The crowd, they loved me, and I steamrolled over anyone that stood in my way for the belt. And when I was finished with them, came my unrivaled trademark finale. The D.O.A. A finisher so lethal that no one's ever gotten up from it. No one. TNA had no choice but to give me a title shot. I earned it. Then, backstage politics reared its ugly head. You think you got a title shot, huh? Well, back up, son. Guess again. This is how it's going down, Trump. It's real simple. The big man says you're going to take a dive, so that's what you're going to do. Take a dive! Got it! Take it easy, guys. All right, I'll do it. Screw that. There's no way I'm taking a dive on this title shot, especially on national television. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion! I destroyed him. The crowd went wild, and I was on top of the world. Man, that was the greatest moment of my life. But this next moment, ugh, not so much. We told you lay down for this match, but you did. Now you don't got no choice, Papa. And then it got really bad. So I wake up in this rat hole. Not knowing where I was, how I got here, or worst of all, who I was. All I know is my face feels like hamburger. Ah, see, si. he is away. Es un milagro. You must have angels that watch over you, senor. Y you shouldn't even be alive. Senor, don't worry. We are going to help you. Ah, I hate this pro bono crapola. Shh, stop it, estupido. Shouldn't be alive. Help me. Help me with what? What happened to me? So here's what I've been told. Apparently, I was beaten to a pulp, and my lifeless body was left for dead in some dark alley in Tijuana. I was pounded so badly that nearly half the bones of my body were broken, and my face was demolished beyond recognition. But these doctors are actually plastic surgeons and are offering to reconstruct my face into something that, um, won't scare the children, so they say. I'm not really sure why they're doing this for me or what pro bono means. I'm just grateful that they are. 
Anyway, let's see what they can do. Okay, so it looks like we actually can create a player. Now, I started to do this on the PlayStation 2, um, but apparently my PS2 is jacked. And now that I'm thinking about it, we jumped right into it as Suicide on the PS2. But since this is on the PS3, I think we have a few more options. That's awesome. So usually we make CM Puma a high flyer, but we're going to go with Brawler this time. Body type. And CM Puma is going to get Jack, yo. Yup. That dude is going to be Jack. So we're going to change his flesh tone just a little bit. All right head and i think we can do hats no we can't i guess we gotta unlock that stuff uh, oh it's under clothing maybe hat type so here's what i was doing i was messing around with these in um earlier so i like that one so this is gonna be well i guess it's gonna stay blue and we're gonna go with the yellow close to cm puma I mean, as close as we can get. Um, no shirt. Pants. Now, I went through the pants, and there's really not a lot of choices. Uh, pretty much jeans and jean shorts and things like this, where they're kind of eh. But you can add decals to them. Um, and eh. The decals are, are pretty standard, and they're pretty plain. Um, and then you can change the color, which is about it. So, let's see. You know what? We might just put jeans on your boy. We I don't think we've ever done something like that. Okay, we got the brown pant. Whoa, the fringe. Oh, okay, I kind of like those. Stirrups. I mean, uh, chaps, no thanks. Let's see. We're going to go... Oh, I like the boots. There. And we can add some decals to them. Lightning bolts, barbed wire, the stars. Oh, and the American flag on the pants. That was pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to do that. Bam. Americana, son. Um, shoes. I don't think we can change our shoes because of what's already there. So the left elbow. We put a brace on this guy. I mean, he did just get the hell beat out of him. Um, let's go with... That's huge. That's big. Mm. Um, I kind of... I thought I saw one that was like... Maybe it's this. Okay, we can only change it there. And the decals... With the stars. That's kind of... Okay, we're going to do that one. Left knee. Can we put a brace on this knee even though he's got pants on? We cannot. Left hand. we got 13 choices. Oh, that looks corny. Kind of all of these look... Meh. Oh. Decal it. No decals. We can change... Nope. Can't change the color. So we're going to put the same tape on his left hand, or his right hand. Shoulder. Ah, okay. Nice, all right. Tattoo. Torso. Where's this tattoo? Okay, it's on his back. That one's on the side. Um, oh, uh, that's kind of neat. Kind of tiger stripey, if you, if you kind of look at it that way. Um, around the neck, that's kind of neat. Oh, whoa, that was like nipple tattoos. The spine, that crazy face. Uh, that's kind of cool. Kind of goes across his whole body, right arm. And some of these are going to get covered up by the tape. I do like that one. Left arm. Now, he, he's he got a lot on his arm there, so 
I don't think that's gonna matter much. Um, yeah, we'll pick that one. Those matter about face paint. Wrestling moves. Oh man. I didn't know this was gonna go down. And apparently we gotta unlock a lot of stuff. Whew. Yeah, we do. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything there. Counter, man. Aerial? Nope. No, I mean, sheesh. I don't even know what my default finisher is. I would assume it's the DOA. Okay, can't do anything with wrestling moves. Intro, number one. Um, I don't know which they look like. I'm so I'm assuming we can go back in there. All right, let's do it. Save it up. Okay, so we have a couple of options here. We can continue. We can modify our person. Okay. So I'll do that stuff when we can see our entrances and stuff. Main menu options. What's in our options? Showing you the controls. Subtitles are on. All right. Uh, continue. Let's do it. Let's get started. Well, I've got a new look, but I still don't know who I am or how I got here. All I know is that I have this overwhelming urge to slam people into a mat. So either I'm a wrestler, or I have anger management issues. Either case, for now, I just want to work off my coma-induced atrophy, relearn whatever skills I have, and make enough money to live. To avoid being thrown into prison, I decided to take my aggressions out in a wrestling ring. There happened to be a local wrestling competition in town, so I joined up. They put me in a special gauntlet match. Something felt right about that. All right, well, here we are in Mexico. What's with the chickens? So anyway, here's the deal. This is a gauntlet match. When you win against one, another comes in to take his place. Now, for whatever reason, part of the gimmick is that if you win a gauntlet match, they shower you with pesos and send you to America for an international match at a real United States military base. Some kind of wrestling mock war of nations, I guess. Yeah, something definitely feels right about this. All right, here we go. We are taking on um, El Grosso. Dude, I'm not supposed to be taunting. Go to town on him, Puma. Go to town on this dude. Oh! Okay, we're starting off with a choke slam, apparently. And boy, are those tattoos dark. Get up. Oh! Oh, man, nice shoulder breaker. And... Rhymony Puma. Give the man a chance. Big ol' axe handles. Oh, we went for the leg drop and he moved. Alright. I play I've played a little bit just to kind of get a grip on con some controls here. Stand up, dude. Shoot. Because this game is I mean, this is a um a lot similar to Eros del Ring. With the luchador that we are the, uh, yeah, triple A, Edistel ring, oh, um, where the where it's simple, G DVD, holy cow. Um, all the controls are simple. There's not a whole lot that you can do. You can grapple them, like I, like that's my move set right there. There's only a handful of moves that you can do. So, you got to make the best of that. Oh, reversed. And we went for a shoulder block. Come on. Big kick. Oh, 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 oh. Toss this full into the ropes. Big kick. Not what I wanted to do. I want to I wanna catch him. Okay, into the corner, into the corner. Oh! And a choke slam again. Okay. Jeez. Get up. Oh, we got him hooked up. Here we go. 
This is our finisher. Oh! All right, sit him down. And get out of my ring. Ooh, is that Kenny Omega behind that mask? Man, those are some dark tattoos. Definitely tell you got those things in Mexico. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep going with this gauntlet match. Here we go, it looks like a Disco Inferno over here. Nightwolf. Oh! Holy cow, we went for a big move and he caught us. So the submission system, nope. You just, just, oh, oh man, that was freaking awesome looking. He reversed our choke slam into a code breaker. That was nice. That was nice. Dude, why can't I not reverse anything? There we go. Go! That'll teach you. And dropping the elbow. Nice move, Puma. Got him hooked up. Boom. Okay, went for the leg drop. He got, oh, we got, he moved out of the way a little bit. Oh, dang it. There we go. Light him up, light him up. And eat a choke slam. And again, we're working on those arms. And apparently the power version of that is just stomping away at a dude. Huh. No, he got us. Too early on that reversal. Jeez. Get get out of here. Shoot. He, he took off. Again. That damn choke slam. Like I said, that's that's the bad part there. I mean, you only have a couple of moves. Oh, and a reversal. Oh, nice, with the body splash, all right. Into the corner, yes. Kick. All right, not what I wanted to do, but crime and he turned in a dude inside out. Oh, dadgummit, I wanna pick him up. Picking him up, it, it seems like you gotta just be in the exact right position. Shoot! We lost our finisher. Dad gummit. Oh, over the back he goes. Oh man, that freaking choke slam. All we can do is choke slam fools, apparently. Oh! Boy, if you don't get off me. Damn, missed it, missed it again. Do oh, with a reversal there. Oh, oh shoot. So you gotta press the buttons there to get out of it. DVD. And we're just gonna work the neck apparently. Okay. Picking people, I gotta, I gotta figure out, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I can't reverse, and man, he just took it out on me big time. Stand up, Puma. And off the ropes he goes, oh. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting that. All right, Puma, what are you doing, man? Grab him. Sheesh. Chew! And a big clothesline there. Puma taking out the garbage. There we go. We landed at that time. Whoops. Did not mean to do that or that. And bam. Time to end this fool. Got him up. Cross leg. Michinoku driver is exactly what that looked like. Count of two. Boom. We win second match. Bang, bang. Can we skip all this? 
get on to the third match. The only reason I know there's a third match is because I went through this on the PS2. But moving forward, who knows what's going to happen. The game, what looked, and it didn't look terrible on the PS2. I don't know. I think my PS2 was jacked up. There was zero sound. That irked me because I recorded this video. It was like a half hour video. And it was nothing. There was no sound. Just pure and straight hot garbage. So, I got on eBay today and got a new PS2 or a different one. Got a slim instead of the fat. So, we'll see how that goes. But, I picked this game up. Oh, Americana. I picked this up for the PS3. And it was, um, it was only three bucks at GameStop. So, there's that. Big choke slam. Working the neck. Okay, we're going to take it to old Fernandez like quick, son. All right, I want to pick this guy up. It, mm. Dude, and then he immediately shoulder blocks us. Get off it. Oh, that sucks for you. And drop that elbow on Fernandez here. I mean, he for real looks like Americana. Suplex. Get in the corner, bro. Okay, apparently that's not a thing. Got him. <laughs> Choke slam. Come on now. Okay, we got him a little uppercut type thing. Big chop. Big chop. Got him up for the DVD. Nice move there, Puma. Can we go up top? Oh, okay. Maybe if I push the right button. And, oh, another choke slam. Oh, there we go. Up top. Big elbow drop. We're gonna, we're gonna go again. Can we go again? Yeah, we can. And another double axe handle elbow drop type thing. Man, this is freaking choke slam, I swear. Here we go. And just like that, Fernandez, you done, son. Uh. Uh oh, maybe not. Oh, got him. Got him. Way to go, Puma, and way to go, you guys, sticking it out. Pretty fun game, I mean, for what it is. Let's see uh, what's next for us here. No, we unlocked a. Oh, okay, we unlocked Mexico. Um, we can continue the story. Let's see what happens. Not exactly a regal way for the king of the gauntlet to travel, but it's better than nothing. I'll take a free trip to the States any day. Oh, look at your boy showing up at the army base. Oh, man. <laughs> so you're the Mexican king of the gauntlet? I feel so honored to be in the presence of such royalty. <laughs> so you're that jobber from Tijuana who won a chance to get his butt beat here tonight, huh? What a joke. Yeah, <laughs> funny. Can you just point me to the locker room? Your throne's over there, your highness. That's a bathroom. <laughs> Good one. I already feel the love. Okay. There we go. We are now in the United States. We won the gauntlet. And we apparently got harassed by the super clowns. Whatever the hell that is. Like a knockoff ICP, I guess. Um, but So that's going to be it. We will continue this uh, this game here. I really enjoyed er Eros del Ring. Uh, the storyline was pretty good, and you got to choose between Technico and Rudo, so that, I mean, this is kind of the same, but I'm going to study up on the moves, see if I can uh, do a little bit more than choke slams and whatnot. So that is going to be it, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not. Check out the Patreon page down in the description. Come back very soon. We'll see you then.